Welcome to Valentina Design Universe show. This is Valentina Cirasola, your host. And uh, today I have a fantastic um, guest. He's a film producer, but he will tell you, he will tell you something very fun. But for the moment, you just I just want you to know that you, Valentina Design Universe is a place where we meet interesting people and uh, we get inspired by what they do. We get entertained and uh, it is a way to listening through their story is a, a way to uh, maybe reach our goals as well. So today I have Nico Cirasola, he's a, an Italian film producer and he's here with us welcome nico hello hi nico Bye. how are you good day for uh, very happy for uh, to meet you thank you <laughs> i'm happy to have you on my show we have tried for a while and uh, the technology wasn't uh, really working with us. But today we are live and it seems like we are doing fine so far. So, Nico, um, I want to ask you one thing. First of all, we have uh, the same last name, first of all. But we're not related. We come from the same town, Bari, Italy. But we're not related, at least that's what we think. Maybe in the ancestor, uh, you know, we were related, who knows. But anyway, we knew each other, for, of each other for a while. But then you ended up meeting me in San Francisco at the Italian uh, Cultural Institute because one day, you were, one evening, you were presenting your films and I was presenting my books. So our evening was called Cirasola and Cirasola. That's where we really met in person. So now tell us what was the movies, the films that you were presenting that year in San Francisco? Focaccia Blues. Focaccia and? Blues. And uh, it's the movie that I made uh, 10 years ago, but until now, it's very actuality movie, and I showed the same movie only two weeks ago in Russian. And uh, okay. it's 10 years that I go around the world through this movie. So, tell us... Um... Tell us what were you, what is the, the film about? It's uh, the true story about the little shop of focaccia that say near the big shop of the fast food, very popular, very famous, international fast food. And- uh, We won't say which one it is because we know what, what, what was it, yes. But we will just say it's a giant of fast food. But this big fast food in three years, it's dead. It's closed. Until so, now, the little shop of uh, Focaccia are working and uh, make until now business for good food, local food. Okay, and where was this made? It's in Altamura, in South Italy. Okay. In Puglia, not very far from uh, my uh, town where I born, Gravina, and Matera. Matera right. is the capital of the culture of the next year. Yes, yes, we know, yes. And so what happened, this giant of fast food um, opened the store, an establishment near a focaccia place, right? An Italian focaccia place, right? Yes, it's near the focaccia shopping 
and uh, people for the first time go in this big uh, fast food for uh, birthday for holiday for uh, for stay together with friends etc but it's enough for one year and people begin to go in the little shop of focaccia buy the focaccia and after go in the fast food because the fresh air for yeah. focaccia and drink some coke or some uh, some drink that's and, uh, so funny that's so funny that very funny very funny but it's true story and yeah. the story go around the world in yeah. fact the new york times new york times dedicated to this story one page of the very uh, important for me but also for my country and uh, for this story and after uh, uh, new york times i receive phone from uh, bbc from uh, uh, the tv from french from portugal portugal or every country are looking for uh, uh, us for me and for my friends because uh, are interesting in this story this is very funny story i know i know it's a um, it's a real fun story because here is an example of how um good food real food will always uh attract people the real food go to the heart of people and will attract them people want to eat real food to stay healthy and also because the taste is so much better than you know processed food let's say and um the town of Altamura in Puglia, which I'm very familiar because, of course, I was born there. I was I grew up in, in Puglia, produces the best uh, bread products, bread, uh, bread sticks, focaccia, uh, panini, and then this and that. The ingredients are local. They don't come from miles and miles away or from around the world. They're local. They're produced local. And so they're very organic. And many times the, the, the products are produced by families, not by industries. So th the fact is that this giant uh, fast food entertains the kids. On their birthday, you know, they had the games outside, the... Uh, all the kids game that attract them but they didn't attract them with food right yes it's uh, uh, people work in home my mother until uh, the last year prepared for me focaccia and bread in home little farmer prepare but not industry it's lit only little farmer and work in the night, uh, all the night work the people and prepare the pane, bread, focaccia, panini, or, uh, all things, uh, sweet, uh, dolce, sweet. Oh, yes, yeah. the sweet, the sweet. Sweet, sweet is yeah. incredible, in, uh, especially in this uh, time when we are uh, uh, near the Christmas, no? For uh, holiday Christmas. It, you go around and you see the color, you see the fragrance, the the sweet, the fragrance, the, the fragrance sweet. sweet. I know I miss them so much because the sweets here are not any closer than what you have there in Puglia. Absolutely not. So I do miss them a lot. <laughs> I, I, I wish someone would yes. send them to me. <laughs> This is different from the food because when you can list, uh, um, smell, scent, yes, and fragrance, you decide to buy, but at the same time to eat this food. Absolutely, yes. It's more, more interesting, not only for the uh, for body, but also for the mind, for the because. You yes, know. it's good for the soul and it's good for the mind. Absolutely, it's very, very important. This, 
and uh, uh, until now uh, we prefer the local food and not the fast food not the industry food exactly. and in every in every family the people prefer but at the same time work in home and prepare with the the parents with the sister the daughter uh, right. the, the mother and father also the father work for the prepare sometimes the yes. food uh, home food absolutely i i adore the food of puglia i think they are the best to me i was born and and grew up with that kind of food so it's for me is the best if you want i invited you the fragrance of the the sweet from <laughs> through technical it's not possible technically no it's not no, it's but maybe from from two years uh, from one years maybe it's possible that also you'll listen you uh, smell no the, yes yeah well, yeah at one point it will be it will be available the t smell tv but so yeah. now tell me um uh tell me about uh focaccia blues where are you showing it in the world i know you came to san francisco because that's where i met you so where where else are you showing in the world the the film the first time in the united states 10 years ago i say for the first time in uh, charleston in los angeles new york many times chicago atlanta but at the same time I received the invitation from Sweden, from French, from Portugal, uh, Spanish. But uh, the last year, I received the invitation from the China. It's incredible because I Shanghai. From I China, you said? From China? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. And uh, the, the last year, I received also the invitation from Russia, but not possible because we have no the movie with the. It, subtitle russian subtitle and uh, two weeks ago i showed the movie in uh, san pietroburgo before and okay. we opened uh, san pietroburgo on festival and at the same time we i opened with focaccia blues uh, in mosca it's the big uh, events buongiorno italia for right. uh, the island uh, farmer uh, and producer italian producer that show lore um the, the made the, the factory the prodotto, okay. no? yeah. in, right. in, in mosca and we be open this uh, events with focaccia okay. and it's interesting the same time i but only the last day because the festival begin at 8 december and finished 11 december at okay. 11, I discovered that on the uh, the building near the Kremlino, okay. uh, show the video at incredible from uh, to Colosseo, Fontana di Trevi, and Focaccia. It's a screening <laughs> <laughs> wall of the Kremlin. <laughs> it's, it's very fun. If you go in Facebook, it's possible that you see my my page Facebook. I yeah. have the video because it's it's very very funny funny for, for me it's funny. Also, I am very happy, but at the same time it's funny because I see Colosseo, Fontana di Trevi, and all <laughs> the of Italy is represented from the focaccia. Oh, yeah. it's, the best excellent. Tag me, tag me on that uh, on those pictures if you have them already. <laughs> if you already have them uh, posted on Facebook, tag me so I can make uh, uh, I can answer you and I can participate to this fun thing. It is so it was received very well in Moscow. Uh. The, the, mo the film the film was received very well in moscow right yes because uh, i i i show focaccia blues but at the same time i show also rudy valentino yes and so i uh, say with another uh, many uh, some short movie from italy right because 
of the festival, Italian cinema seen or never seen in the world. Okay. With, uh, with uh, the Minister of Culture and uh, Regione Puglia help mm -hmm. me for uh, this uh, mission. Mm -hmm. And I show Focaccia Blues, Rudy Valentino, Oro Verde. Rock so the Rudy Valentino, Rudy Valentino is a new film that you are producing or is a uh, is already been produced? I am a director and co-producer of the movie. And uh, this is Rudy Valentino. <laughs> I am all Oscar. Not, so uh, it, it's been produced already. It's already available. Oh, yes, uh, it's in per, in percent well, the, it's part of the producer. I co-producer. I am the twenty-five percent of the producer. Okay. Okay. But it's the idea that I have from twenty years ago, when I finished the first movie, I wish to make the movie about Rudy Valentino. Right. But uh, uh, it's necessary twenty. Five twenty-eight uh, years for made the movie, and this I am very happy to show the right. last year before in Shanghai, yeah. the first in the world is in Shanghai, and this year in uh, Russia. I hope to come also in the United States because until now I not show the movie in the United States, and maybe it's very interesting story. Yeah for the uh, the story but also for the the character because rudy valentino is the first star in the world of the yes. cinema yes of the and silent movie is, yes i'm from puglia yes he did castellaneta um castellaneta right he was from castellaneta so. and uh, Right. Arrived in the United States in 1930, uh, 19, 1913. 13, yeah. 13. And yeah. Uh, after six years, it's the first and very famous uh, actors in the world. Right. And uh, with uh, the first movie of Rudy Valentino, uh, it's more uh, famous and popular than uh, Charlie Chaplin, than oh. Griffith. And uh, you receive also uh, two very big business for the star system in the right. United States. First, the first stars invented the the star system. Right, but not many people know that Rudy Valentino was born in Puglia. So we are very yeah. proud of having him in our heritage. We're very uh, proud. We are, we are. We are. I and you. We are very. <laughs> happy for this because come many people and many yeah. uh, first primati come si dice uh, primati. Yeah. it has a uh, uh, well we have it depends on what you want to say <laughs> Il, beh, que, questi primati questo uh, it's interesting this uh, it's curiosity yeah. because also yeah, it's, the, it's, a, it's a huge curiosity now that we also have a museum of him dedicated to him yes absolutely uh, also we have the, some not too much museum it's not very interesting museum in italy it's right. more interesting in los angeles because uh, when i come in los angeles uh, i visit uh -huh. the tomb of rudy valentino right and it's very very interesting because uh, rudy valentino Every year, receive the. Uh, it's so popular that many mm -hmm. people come and uh, uh, celebration the death and born of Rudy Valentino every right. year. Every and year, how it, fun! Until now, yeah. uh, I la vedo vanera. Come si dice la vedo vanera? Black. The uh, black widow. Widow. The black. The black widow. On the tomb of Valentino every year and with flower uh -huh. and uh, give homage to uh, Rudy Valentino in Los Angeles. And this is, uh, I don't know uh, why if it's uh, invented for uh, business. I don't I don't right. understand exactly. But <laughs> until now you have this ce ceremony for Rudy Valentino. Right. And variety. It's the 
the first uh, uh, newspaper in the world for the cinema, right. review of the cinema. Every time that uh, invented the new star, yeah, it, it is said that uh, this is the new Rudy Valentino. Very that nice. He, Richard Gere. Uh, every actors, every year, you have the new Rudy Valentino. <laughs> After seven years, that is dead, just. I want to uh, interject for one moment. We have a, a comment from Domenico Gatti in Puglia, uh, who um, I know very well. Thank you for being here and watching us. He says, what a pleasure to be uh, live with both of you, Valentina and Cirasola. <laughs> Cirasola and Cirasola. <laughs> Cirasola. Yes, thank you for watching the show. Um, so I want to ask you something else. So I know where are you showing? Are you going to China? You said, or you haven't been to China yet? Uh, China? Training? No. Uh, have you been? Say andato. Have you been in China? In China, yes. Yes, you of have. Okay. I stayed yeah. the first time in nineteen. Uh, 1994, we do first right. and second 94. movie, 1994. 1994. Okay. and come back again the last year, right. it's, because in Shanghai you yeah. have the, uh, you have this cinema, this theater, it's right. very big, and stay in the Grattacielo, in the big uh, building. In, in the skyscraper. Yes, you, you skyscraper. stay at the 40th floor. Yeah, I've been in the 40th floor. <laughs> it's incredible because in Italy it's not possible also for the uh, come si, sicurezza, no? For the safety, yeah. Because if you have the fire or some uh, the people to come out, you stay in 40th floor. Yeah, yes, I know, I know. I'm so scared of those buildings that tall, yeah. If something happens, you can't get out. <laughs> yeah. but the Chinese now it's the glamour, it's the lights, it's the, oh, I know, I the know. new adventure, it's in too too much, too much adventure. Yeah. I know. But okay. it's the same time it's interesting because the people are curiosity to see the movie, are is a, it's very interesting to uh, the job to your my job, no? And are uh, looking for the and Asked me for see the other my movie. Yeah, and this is interesting. It's young people, especially in university. Yeah, yeah, oh, absolutely. They want to live like in the Western world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I made the movie for go around the world. Yes. The, I, the first idea when I made the movie, it's uh, because I am interesting to go around. In every country, in every yes. part, in every land, because Absolutely. but I, it's interesting that I come with my movie, right. and so I take contact in a different way, yes. different way. because it is, it's not the same as when you are tourist and, right. and you are the artist that show the movie. Right, right. Or it's the just same like, the it's just like, in your yeah. case, or it's the same because yeah. the people are. More interesting, a, you stay in that country, new, new country, in new situation, our explorator, not our the tourists. Uh, well, it's just the same with me writing books. I write in English and not in Italian because we have the world in front of us to show what we produced. And so yeah. why limit ourselves to our native countries? when there is really the world in front of us. So you do very well to show it abroad, absolutely. Your mm -hmm. films are very interesting and uh, very entertaining. Yeah. Uh, so let I, me ask you. No, go ahead. I, I, know, I have a dream to make the movie without words. So it's international. <laughs> it's all sound, music, and uh, mimica. It's not word, because the word is limited. And limited, We're not for, limited, yeah, but you don't want to go back to the silent movie, do you? Uh, if, in fact, I, 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 the, the artist, it's American, no, it's French, and the American movie is very incredible story. It's very, it's lovely movie for me. 
So let me ask you what, uh, something else. Uh, your uh, films so far seems like they have the word blues in it. Does it have anything to do with rhythm and blues music? Why is that you have that word in your titles? But blues is uh, the soul. The soul. It's energy. It's... Uh, Love, it's the same time. Uh, uh, the, 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 the power because mm -hmm. the power, blues is also the power. And uh, my movie, Albania Blues, Focaccia Blues, maybe now it's necessary a new movie with the blues, right? Yeah, because uh, it's interesting. This, uh, um, this line. That you need me, the south of the United States, the south of the America. Right. And it's a, uh, it's near, it's very near me in the south Italy, mm -hmm. and it, it's uh, near all the south of the world, and all the south is in blues. The north yeah. maybe it's uh, no, it's too much art for me, <laughs> right. because rock and blues, and jazz. Maybe represent the South. Right, right. But it's the other movie, maybe heavy metal is the North. <laughs> because I don't know. I think it's a different uh, emotions. People of the South of the world, anywhere in the world, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> have, um, I'm not sure, have uh, different emotions from people of the North. Maybe because of weather. Because the south of every part of the world is always warmer. Who knows? Also in the dance, you have the difference from the south and the north. Yes. In the south, you use it the the body and the half body, not height body, but the down body, no? Right, right. And especially the um, Caribbean dance. Uh, Caribbean dance. dance? Tropical yeah. Also, uh, the La Taranta in the south. We have exactly, the exactly. Yes. It's the, uh, you work with the body, all the body, but especially of the half body, uh, uh, down body, not height body. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, it's not easy for maybe explain this idea, but I think it's so, and. Uh, Blues represent for me the the south, the, the south. The emotion of the south, <laughs> and the southernness. Yes, I understand that because I am from the south of Italy, and so it's um our uh, our emotions are determined by a lot of um of what is around us, the systems, the family, the uh, the way to conduct life is slower in the south of the part of every part of the world it's always slower than it is on the northern part of any part of the world so it's is i i understand those emotions so it, they are very difficult to explain but we like them and that's why you like to use the word blues so it's it's good it's your uh, signature style but so, I respect also the north, also oh, the absolutely. different emotion. Absolutely. But you, the thing is, you feel more, uh, you feel closer to the emotions of the south, right? Yeah. So but now I, you, yeah. had, uh, uh, you had uh, worked with uh, Sofia Loren in a oh. film called Francesca Enunziata. Yeah. What was the story of that film? It's the story uh, near the, the food, because it's uh, the farmer of the pasta, the first farmer of pasta mm -hmm. in Naples, and uh, uh, Sofia Lorenz represented the farmer, right, and the, the uh, and the born with the. Giancarlo Giannini is uh, Duca, but the, the farmer is uh, Sofia Loren, very strong farmer. 
right she represents the woman very strong woman of the south of italy right and uh, i work for the made pasta okay and, uh, I, i work with her it's interesting because this is the movie and director it's uh, lina wert muller mm -hmm. you know it's very famous because uh, also in the united states for the made uh -huh. movie and also the remake that madonna make the remake of the movie of the yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, uh, Wert Muller, uh, wish that i work in this movie i said her that my, i am no actor i am the director movie i prefer <laughs> director it's uh, for actors it's not easy for me but she decided i stay with her and i am very happy because say with my uh my son luca michele cirasola mm -hmm. and together work in this uh, uh movie and we represent the pugliesi pugliesi with the from can, can, can come from puglia land right. puglia for uh, uh Sand grano, uh -huh. grano for made pasta. To make Because a pasta. Okay, so you were the people from Puglia who sent the farmer to Naples to this uh, industry of farmers that made pasta. You send your flowers, right? Uh -huh. But okay. if, in fact, until now, the flower of the grano, that uh, the big production in Europe uh, exists in Puglia. Yeah, the week. And now from United States, yes. from New Jersey, from Toronto also, yeah. buy many grano from Puglia. Mm -hmm. And uh, every year come the, the, the boat, the big boat in the uh, United States from Naples and arrive in the United States for uh, take the grano from Puglia in the United States and for you know, maybe also the bread that say in uh, fast food in united states come from the grano of mm. puglia yeah and sofia loren uh, for me represents the uh, the superstar of in the scene in the world she is she and is. i am very happy also i work with another superstar it's claudia cardinale in rudy yeah. valentino and i am For for me, it's the best of the uh, happy, no? Wow, you must have been yeah. really high up in in uh, in your emotions. <laughs> for emotion, yes, I work with uh, for uh, it's very famous in Italy, Renzo Arbore. Yes, but also Claudia Cardinale. Yeah, and uh, Sofia Loren. So how and, was it to to work with? Uh, Uh, both Sofia and Claudio Cardinal. How was it? Was it hard? It's very kind. It's the very um, um, humanity moment. It's yeah. excellent yeah. in uh, when you talk with her and are, are always available to help me. Wow. In every case. If I have some difficult, it help me very quickly. No problem. Nice. And uh, for curiosity, Sofia Loren, when we work together, when you made the movie, you have the the, the pictures of the face of Sofia Loren, and after right. the other face, my face. But when I'm uh, the director movie, take my face. It's not necessary to say Sofia Loren, but Sofia Loren decided to say all week together as with a dress, not to say in picture or movie, but say only for uh, help me for our um, normal, natural uh, in the dialogue with her in the movie. Okay. In fact, it's a good dialogue. Right. And right. This is the, maybe it's the best of the humiltà, come si dice in... Uh, humility. 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 Yeah. Humility. And uh, at the same time, the grandezza, la grandezza, the, la, la bellezza, la grandezza, beauty. Yeah. She's and, a beauty, she's a beauty, and she is grander in her uh, career because she is an icon. And this is interesting, and this is a big lesson for me, and uh, also for all people that work with me for the movie. 
right. it's very very interesting lesson yeah. oh, um, humanity lesson no yeah <laughs> well <clears throat> i want to ask you so your um the style of your films are you said one time as realistic dream films what does that mean but it's realistic dream because uh, uh, every story that I talk in my movie is uh, true. Albania blues is the story of Al Albania, people that come in New in Italy. From uh, the Al first movie of okay. Orin Pioggia, right. the Saint of Rain. I uh, talk maybe it's an autobiographic movie, it's the poetry okay. and uh, the young poetry that are looking for the old life uh, for uh, uh, your objective in the life, no? Uh -huh. But at the same time, it's uh, surrealistic. Uh, um, messa in scena, come si dice? Messa in scena. Uh, <laughs> realistic uh, way. And yeah. also, uh, because I, I, I love to dream. Right. And it's necessary that the, also the people, the yeah. spectators, that right. see my movie, are, uh, I, I offer I offer him the possibility to dream. Yes. And for the uh, the new the how uh, is it? The personality story. Every story yes. that I made, I wish that it's also the story personality story of the spectator, the of the who is it? Spectator, spectator. Of the uh, viewer. Viewer, viewer, every yeah. viewer receive from me one uh, dream, and he decides it's your dream or no. Yes, and uh, for this reason, it's important that uh, uh, the the made of uh, story mm -hmm. is realistic, not too much realistic. Okay. So there, is bit, there is the story is realistic, but you also add a, a lot more fantasy. Fun, yes. And, and yeah. I, I love Federico Fellini, yeah. Terry Gilliam. Terry Gilliam is the very fantastic uh, director. Yeah. Tim Burton, Tim Burton, because represent the movie in. Uh, but all, I love all the cinema. But yeah. in. These uh, authors for me is more interesting and more curiosity because represent for me the dream. Right. Yes. So, and what are your plans now for uh, the future? Yeah, I, I just uh, I'm looking for the uh, I have the, the the interesting story about the peanut. Peanut. The peanut girl of the fifties. Peanut. <laughs> Also, pin up. It's invented from a Puglian <laughs> artist. It's a Gino Boccasile because okay. he began this uh, painter the pin up at the beginning of the century, the last century. Uh -huh. uh, he invented the Signorine Grandi Firme. It's a beautiful girl uh -huh. and sexy. Very voluptuous. Very voluptuous. Yeah. And Federico Fellini, I look for your, your painter because it's very interesting. And it's very famous in Italy from the 1920 until 19, uh, 19, uh, 1950. 50. Right. After he died. But uh, now this story, it's the new story. It's the original story because uh, when you dead, uh -huh. you are classified as fascist oh. and delayed from the culture in Italy. It existed so this, this artist was uh, after his dead death was um, uh, classified as a fascist. Fascist. Why? Because you because you work for the Signorine Grandi Firme for pinup until. Uh, the beginning of the world, the second world in uh, and uh, Hitler and Mussolini decide uh -huh. that and looking for him because work for painter the war. Oh, and oh my, oh my. Is the authors, many painters 
of the world. But okay. when you, I, I see in the color that use it from the pinup, it's a beautiful and very um, hot uh, color, no? Uh huh. Yes. Very hot color. And when you made the describe the war, it's uh, it's green, it's uh, gray, red. It's it's not beautiful. Okay. I, I show you the painter. Uh, you see the. Uh huh. This yes, yes, yes. One woman. Uh, it's very ironical uh, uh, painter. Okay. You prepare also the fumetto looks. Okay, okay. The comics, the comic books. Yeah. And uh, you are very famous for, uh, and you are uh, also is the authors of many, uh, of many advertisements. The the logi, logi, no, proprio. Advertisements. Uh, invented for Magino Mio, Clorodon. Okay, okay. But in the same time, in yeah. Paris, you painted the cover of the Paris Tabo. It's he always painted, he painted the cover. The cover the, in Paris. Paris for, magazine. It's a magazine. Paris, uh, yes. Paris yeah. Tableau. Yeah. Okay. Paris Tableau. It's very beautiful and color. Yes. yes. Bo uh, girls. It's very chic. She. Yeah. Woman. It's yeah. Beautiful woman. Yes. And, and maybe I am working now for make the movie. I just prepare the short movie, okay. but I I have an idea for the long metrage. Okay. This is so, uh, now one idea. Okay. So these are your future uh, your future uh, plans. You will be making the uh, story a film on the story of uh, Gino Basile Boccasile. Right, and his pinup girls. This should be interesting. He lived around the beginning of the century of 1900, right? And he uh, he drew uh, comic books and he made uh, uh, pictures, uh, illustrations of very voluptuous and sexy women. And so that's what you will be talking about in the next film, right? Yes. In fact, so now I am looking for the sex woman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, well, you I have plenty. Well. You have plenty of uh, sexy, voluptuous women today. Absolutely, but, uh, sexy symbol. It's not uh, normal. Uh, I am looking for the erotic, but um, erotism, the new in blues, erotism, erotic blues. <laughs> And, uh, and uh, are you going to cast this particular uh, woman from the Italian women, or are you going to cast from international? Because you have the big fantasy, and uh, you are uh, you stay also in Argentina, work for uh, some years, uh -huh. and you stay also in Paris, uh, also in Italy with the woman, international woman. Right, right. Beautiful. Maybe yeah, nice. in my movie. In uh, not it's true, but this is a surrealistic <laughs> movie. Right, maybe right. we have the black woman, <laughs> maybe, maybe yeah. black uh, pin up. Yes, yeah, well, it's why not? Yes, well, it ha I will look forward to watch this film when it will be complete and will be done. So let us know what you're doing and uh, what progress you make for the next uh, films because I'm interested in uh, cinematic experience and um, I like films that are not uh, over, you know, commercially. I like films that are very specific films. So foreign films for me are very, very good. And I'm sure this one is going to be just as interesting as all the other one for Catch of Blues and Rudy Valentin and what, all the other ones that you've made so far. So we will um, look for your new productions. And um, for right now, we have to wrap the show. Uh, 
it has been, um, uh, I think, more than a half an hour, so we have to wrap it up. But uh, I only wish you uh, very good films, very good production. I hope you find the right person for this new personage. And uh, in the meantime, it's Christmas. So I very much wish you the best Christmas for you and your family and uh, the very best new year and everything that you can possibly want. I am very happy. Happy Christmas for you and for all people and for people listening to us. Yes. And also Happy New Year's. Thank you so much. And you have been watching Valentina Design Universe TV. And uh, we will be live again with um, a very interesting person very, very soon. I'm looking for someone very special. Not that everyone is special. But this one will might be very different than what I've been presenting so far. So stay tuned to watch Valentina Design Universe and stay tuned to what uh, Nico Cirasola is producing. He's in, on Facebook. It's everywhere. So it's easy to find him. And it's also attached to my name because we have the same last name. So it's very easy to remember him. So... Nico, I I was, yes, <laughs> there it is, your focaccia blues, yes. <laughs> it's technically not possible until now, but I eat <laughs> No. Thank you so much for being on the show, and uh, Merry Christmas to all and, all and all the viewers that have been here watching us. Mwah. Oh. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye. <laughs> Ciao. Bye. Ciao.